sweating, y'all. So I am sweating profusely so early. Okay. I don't have on much of anything. No lashes. I didn't do my eyebrows. None of that. Okay, listen. Turn this out. Come on. Turn this down because this air might be kind of loud. So, you know, me and my good sis, you know, no, nah, look at this. You know, we are renting a place together. Okay? So, after we got approved for the house, the listing of the house changed the status to for rent to uh, pre-auction foreclosure. Right. So, being that my sister is already a homeowner and has had her her home for several years, up to ten years or whatever, um, you know, me, I don't really pay too much attention to that type of stuff. I see it's no longer for rent, whatever the status changes, I don't know. It could be the website, whatever. So, um, she was like, yeah, let's look into that. So, make a long story short, I'm on my way to the leasing office because surprisingly, the leasing office is not far from the hotel that I'm staying at, right? So yesterday you were with us when we um i went and got my money orders took the money orders first month you know all that good stuff right okay yeah it's not too far from me right now right it'll take me 10 minutes to get there anyway so um we me and my sister talk she was like yeah you know because of this this and this we need to make sure that Everything's okay because we still haven't got the lease. We already paid our money. Da, 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 da. I don't like this title. And, you know, now my antennas is up like, yeah, because now I'm like, what is going on? Um, so we tried to do some research online. We couldn't find too much. So now I'm about to go back to the, the uh, management office, speak to the lady in person. I'm going to record. I didn't record yesterday because I was trying to handle business. But you may not see anything, but you'll be able to hear um, I'm going to record and my sis is going to be on three way on the, well, not on three way, but on my phone. So we were going to call on three way, but like, no, I need to, I need to be in your face. So I'm on my way there now and I'm going to call her in a minute. Let her know that I'm on my way and talk to these people face to face because you know, I got this hotel room for two weeks. Okay. This is the... So the uh, first rental truck that I got, you know, we only kept it for a week. I tried to extend that truck for a few extra days and that was almost another thousand dollars. So I didn't do that. I went through another car rental company and got this car. And I checked the status and talked to the people about my truck. And my truck won't be here until probably this weekend. So I had to extend because I thought my car would be here by today, which is Tuesday, okay? and um, is not here. So I'm, we're taking this car back. I've already reserved a car um, that I'm gonna pick up. It's through the same company that I got this car through. I'm never going back through that other car company. And I like, listen, I know that company has policies, procedures and all that stuff. And I'm not trying to down them or anything, but thrifty car rental? Y'all is something else. <laughs> Crazy tail self. Listen, they want to know my my credit score, firstborn, mother's maiden name, blood type, hair, all that stuff. Then charge you arm and a leg, and then hold on to I think an additional five to six hundred on top of what your rental car is, just to hold it. Ma'am, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. So, I say, you know what? I'm just going to go back to Alamo. I've never had issues with Alamo. Uh, probably, y'all hear that wind. I'm sorry. I got to get the air on. It's, it's hot as hell in Georgia right now. Uh, and I'm not still not used to this. Uh, it's going to be a while till I'm able to get used to this. So, yeah. Anyway, so 
I said, y'all doing too much. Y'all doing too much. Uh, uh, I'll just stick to what I know. Alamo, National. Those are the main two I deal with. Anyway, so I'm on my way there now. Based on my GPS, I'm 10 minutes away. It's only maybe six miles. Five to six miles worth of knowing. So I'm going to go here, figure that out. And then after we leave here, depending on what happens, um, sorry y'all, oh that itch, um, I'm going to, oh, switch the car, I want to stop by Lickety Split, listen, that strawberry banana pudding, I don't know who made it, but it was so good, I never had it made quite like that, um, like the consistency, like it was thick, I love the consistency, but it still was, it was a little bit different for me um, as far as how it was made, but I liked it. I really liked it. But anyway, that's enough of me bambling, mambling about what's happening today. In a minute, y'all just gonna hear me at the office and we go from there because I'm about to call my sis um, in a minute and talk to her on the way there. So here is the new rental car that we are getting. I don't know the name of it. I'm gonna have to probably look at the back of it and see what it's called. Let's see. Kona, South Carolina. <laughs> well, all right, so this is the car that we have. Um, to me, it was one of the better ones. I didn't want any bright blues or anything like that. No reds. I wouldn't mind white, black, or gray. But there isn't too much. I mean, it's a lot to choose from. Don't get me wrong. But I would think we like this. So this is the one we're going with. All right, y'all. So, ooh. Reese's face. <laughs> Oily right now. But anyway. So, if y'all didn't hear the conversation, you know, I'm pretty sure you did. So, at this point, um, we're just trying to do our due diligence and um, make sure that the house we're getting is okay. You know, we want to make sure that we're stable because it's not like it's just me and my sis getting a place together you know what i mean we have children and their lives and school and all that stuff that we have to take an account for so um it's a really big deal to make sure that everything's also clear so they showed us another house and saying that you know if there's any issues with the house that we chose or got picked for then they have another option for us so we looked at the house the house is beautiful the other house is beautiful the house is bigger it's more expensive, but it has less space. And you're like, how big of it less space? Okay, so the house that we have is a five bedroom. It has two living spaces. It has two dining rooms. It has uh, a full basement with a bedroom down there that you can, or room you can work to a room, a bedroom, stuff like that. It's a lot more space. The backyard is huge. It has two patios for the basement. You can exit on the basement to a patio and then upstairs in the kitchen to patio. We love the house. Um, the other house is just four bedrooms. And the way it's kind of set up is we will have to convert um, like one of the other living or dining room spaces into an alternative bedroom. An alternate, sorry, alternate bedroom because we're, we're missing a bedroom now. So that wouldn't be ideal for us. So we would have to keep looking. And that's not anything that we want to do. So that's the no-go. I mean, if we had to, then so be it. So um, my sis and the, um, the management company, they're gonna do their due diligence. 
I, I'm getting real tongue tied today, sorry. They're gonna do their thorough research and try to figure out to make sure everything's fine. In the meantime, I'm gonna try to breathe because I have a feeling that everything's fine. Um, this is just maybe a little strong scare in what we're doing to kind of, you know, keep us alert. Um, but I think we'll be okay. So yeah, so now, um, as we saw, we picked up the new car and we're back at, oh, we can't really see it, but we're at least, oh, you can see it right there. Look at these slits. We're back here and I figured we'd come back here because was, I couldn't think of any place else to go. And their food is good, and I want to try something else different. And I love their um, the strawberry banana pudding. I loved it. So I was like, okay, I ordered two, so one to eat, one to go. And I love their shrimp. Uh, I mean, not shrimp, the ribs. <laughs> the ribs. It's so delicious. So we we ordered more ribs. Uh, so last time I ordered shrimp, I should have ordered some grilled shrimp they were actually good um but this time i ordered the fried chicken i want to taste that i ordered fried chicken mashed potatoes potato salad rolls sean got the ribs again um oh i ordered green beans too john ordered pork chops did you order any sides i already got the rolls and i think he got a sprite uh, we got waters now, but he, John got a Sprite, Sean got a ginger ale in a can, and I got some strawberry lemonade. So, they're closed. Yeah, they're closed now. They closed you at 8. You get from Ikea and they're closed. Oh, yeah, it just hit 8. It's so it's 8 on 1. So, um, we're waiting for the food now. We're going to eat, then go back to the room. And just chill and relax. Yeah, as finally. much as we can possible. Finally, um, the moment we get to chill. Yeah. Always been chilling. We just got to take care of business. So I was telling the kids, we're not going to be able to fully just. Well, I'm not, especially, going to be able to fully just chill and rest until we're in the house. Okay, because it's so much. It's so many moving parts to this that you can't sit idle or get too comfortable. You have to keep moving. Um, and a lot of this stuff I can do alone. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of the stuff that I'm doing, taking them with me alone, I could do that by myself. But I just don't feel right running all these errands and doing all this stuff and leaving them at the hotel an hour away. Oh, we're at 1.45 and yeah. okay. so I've taken them everywhere with me as far as taking care of business. I didn't take them with me this morning to the office because it was right down the street, but trading in the car and coming down here. Yeah, I want I want my kids with me. Um, other than that, you see this is, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the camp, the um, land. John is chilling, it's so cold. Cause he got on a jacket, he got on a hoodie. Um, I'm fine, this breeze is not too bad. If it gets to be too bad, look at the dog. <laughs> yeah, I saw it early. It's so cute. <laughs> um, if it gets to be too much, then we'll go inside. But um, this music over here at this little pub, they is kicking. That's where you hear the music coming from over there. It's really breezy outside. It feels really, really nice. And. That McDonald's was, last time we were here, that line did not slow down. You see that, that line did not slow down once. And it's still cracking. I don't, that, I don't know if that's the only McDonald's near or what, but that line doesn't stop. They really should invest in two lanes. I can't remember the last McDonald's we went to in Vegas that only had one drive through lane at McDonald's. All of them have two. Um, I haven't seen a one lane in a while, but anyway. So, right now we're just waiting for our food. We're gonna call this, we are 143. Then we're gonna head to the hotel room and just, like I said, relax. I'm just mumbling at this point, y'all. So. so, there's John's pork chop. Sean and his ribs. 
They look really good. I ordered the fried chicken. <laughs> Those are the rolls. Yeah, I didn't even get. Can we? Can I look at them? Rolls, the mac and cheese. No, I ordered rolls for for one for two. Two rolls, one a piece. How about you buy another one? Green beans. No, I ordered what I ordered. Now give one to him. Green beans. You need all the rolls. Here's the strawberry pudding. Strawberry banana pudding. And then there's potato salad. Okay. So we are going to get down like James Brown, y'all, okay? All right, y'all, it's time to eat. We out.